Iceland is bracing for an imminent volcanic eruption. Magma moving underground in the country's southwest is threatening to breach the surface and begin flowing across the landscape. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, volcanic ash and gases escape. In other words, it is a mountain that opens downwards to a pool of molten rock below the surface of the earth. Deep within the earth, it is so hot that some rocks slowly melt and become a thick flowing substance called magma. This magma rises and collects in magma chambers. Some of the magma pushes through vents to the earth's surface. Magma that has erupted is called lava. In the case of Iceland, experts believe that the magma has risen to just below the Earth's surface. So an eruption can happen any time now. The volcanic eruption could threaten the coastal community of Grindavik, which is home to more than 3,000 people, as well as a geothermal power plant that supplies energy to tens of thousands of homes in Iceland. If, if an eruption will occur, it it's probably within days rather than weeks, as as these as these signs we are seeing are very rapidly uh, wearing off, leveling off. So, yeah, I, I think that's our estimate. That if this continues for a while without an eruption, the likelihood decreases with time pretty rapidly on that particular front. But however, we also see reinflation at Svartsinki, which introduces the next episode of this possibly in the future. It all started towards the end of October when thousands of small earthquakes began occurring north of Grindavik. The earthquakes were caused by a massive buildup of magma in a 15 kilometer fissure between two to five kilometers underground. The quakes caused massive cracks on roads and smoke rose from the ground. The entire town has been evacuated weeks beforehand as a precaution. Uh, after the evacuation of Grindavik uh, on Friday a week ago, there have been several measures taken. We have been trying to ensure that people, inhabitants, can save their valuables, which is very problematic because it's considered to be a danger zone. We have uh, we put forward a, a bill to the parliament to ensure the salaries for the inhabitants of Grindavik, at least for the next three months. We are working to secure housing because 1,200 homes People uh, do not have uh, guaranteed housing, so we are working on that. Uh, really gathering all information we have about available housing in Iceland and making sure that it's used by the population in Grindavik. And then, of course, we're trying to ensure support, psychological support for the people that are going through an uh, extremely difficult phase. The best case scenario would be for the eruption to take place in the base of a valley, so the lava flows and does not travel far. The worst case would be for the eruption to occur on high ground, so the lava can flow down over a vast area. Multiple factors could impact how destructive the explosion is, including the direction of wind. Sulphur dioxide and hydrogen sulphide will also come up in an eruption, which can affect the air quality. My house is okay, but it's on the red area, so it's uh, it has collapsed. Uh, you know, the earth has collapsed about one meter or something. So uh, the lava, uh, you know, is under our house. So I'm not sure. We don't know if we're gonna have a home or what, because if it doesn't erupt, we don't know anything. Iceland is volcanically active because it sits atop a plume of molten rock coming from deep inside the earth, as well as at the boundary between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. As the plates pull apart, magma wells up from the depths and out onto the surface. 
the country has an eruption every four to five years. The most disruptive one in recent times was in 2010, when the volcano spewed huge clouds of ash into the atmosphere and grounded flights across Europe for days because of fears of damage to aeroplane engines.